morning. Maybe too dark for anything other than the girls. It's a wee bit, wee bit dark. I tried to wait as late as I could. We've got an early morning meeting, so gotta get out here. The sun doesn't come up technically until like 7.20. It's like 6.45, so the latest I could wait. Good morning, pretties. So this has become Pepperoni's spot to sleep under the feeder. Oh, Pixie, being mean to Tinkerbell. All right, everybody, are we ready for, ready for breakfast? Where's Bunny? It wasn't super cold last night, she may be outside. All right, girlfriends, let's have breakfast. a little cloudy I think if it wasn't cloudy we'd have a little bit more light hopefully here in a month or two it won't be an issue getting a little bit more daylight every day and you can really tell at night this weird it's light outside till six almost now which is really nice All you could see right now would be pork chops, but so we would get a better view of them tonight for dinner. We got a pretty good rain yesterday, and it's just been so nice that it rained and it stormed overnight Sunday night into Monday, and it's not a total mud pit out here. It's amazing. I don't know what Daisy's doing. Daisy, what are you doing? Being weird. What you doing, goat? Huh? What you doing? Being strange. That doesn't look good. She's eating fine, running around. Wonder if she like got a cramp or something. Hi, what's wrong? You're holding your head funny. Oh, you banged your head again, didn't you? That's what she did. You banged your head again. Okay, got a little blood spot on top of her horn. I'm sure that's smarts. When I get the milk stand back over here, for lack of a better way to say it, we'll burn off the end. I think I may take you guys over to see the cows and show you a really fun surprise. So I'll see you when I get back. Okay, when I said I was going to bring you guys over here to show you a surprise, this was not it. Um, there are three cows in the backyard. No gates are open. It's Elsie and Chief and somebody else. Um, just not totally sure how they got out. So I got one that just went, looks like she just went back. Yeah, it's that there's hole in the fence oh there is they've knocked the fence down so that's not good go on else okay they are go on chief first go on oh wow yeah they laid the fence over go on. Up. i don't know that i'll be able to necessarily get them back in go on go on chief go on um this is not not why i came out here in the mud oh hey hey none of that go on Go on, up. Go back how you came. Go back how you came. So the wedge lock gave out. That is flying. And the fence has come down, so I'm gonna have to set some T-posts and put some panels up. Go on. Hop up. Hop. 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 Go on. Looks like we may have another new baby. We do! Um, and another new baby. Guys, this is just a day full of surprises. It's the best YouTube video ever. So we're gonna have to pause. So to call Jeremy. And then we'll regroup here in a minute. Okay, so what I'm gonna try to do is kind of pull this back out and reset the T-post so that I can tie some panels to them. The whole corner was blown out. I was trying to figure out why these posts are so close together, but what it is is this was the corner, and so you had a wedge lock that faced that direction, and then a wedge lock that faced this direction, and that was the corner, and they apparently leaned on the post until it came out, or we had flash flooding, and the post just gave way because of the water. Either way, kind of a mess. Um, I'm gonna try to fix it temporarily, 
right now so that maybe we can come back this weekend and do a more permanent fence. The boys are supposed to come out Thursday and feed them hay and that's probably why if it was loose they knocked it over because they, they thought there was some grass out here to eat which there's not. And we'll go see the surprise that I brought you here for and the other, the new calf that's out there. mama cows up here yelling and screaming I'm gonna back up I'm gonna have to go in the other way apparently because she's kind of chasing me and I'm not a fan and this is not a cow I am friendly with the fence is very loose if they want to go over it they absolutely could she's pissed okay so this, I'll be honest I did not know what I was gonna film today and then I remembered this calf that I brought you over here to see was born on Friday. And I think you guys are gonna be super excited about this. And I thought, well, I'll just come. I need to come by anyway. So we have one that was like just born. So let's see if we can see that one without this mom getting too angry. So this is the one that was just born. I'm glad on this side of the fence would have been bad if I had tried to get this mama over. Yeah, I'm not coming too close. I'm staying over here. It's another baldy. It's a brand new her placenta. Let's see where I it. That's her placenta. That's how new it was hanging out when I got here. That's five, six, three. That's Ruby. So we should count six calves. If we don't count six calves, um, I guess we're gonna be on a calf scavenger hunt. Should I? I wonder if I call it that. I probably won't. I'm not that creative. Titles are hard. Oh, Mabel has a calf. We got calves everywhere. I think this is her calf. I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure it out. There are so many calves out here, guys. Okay, so Minnie has her calf. This is the one that we came to see is Swappy Ear. 789 has a calf. There's her calf, it's right there. This is 789's. That's this one's calf, that calf, and then that is the other calf. We got a pissed off bull. Guys, these cows are angry. We're gonna see these calves. This is who we came to see. Look, Chief has a twin. Look how cute. Look how cute! I knew you guys needed to see him. Or her. How does it, this calf is a, a, a week old. That's fresh. That one's new.
Was this one born today, Mabel? Mabel doesn't hate me too much. I can't get enough, guys. Like, baby goats are soon. But this will definitely tide you over when there are like 10 of them. There are seven. Uh, you look like your daddy. Maybe just a little. Not, not a lot like your mom. Here's Chief. With all his buddies. Do you have lots of new friends? Yeah? And a brother that looks exactly like you. That's fun. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Good. Oh, it's Tinkerbell. Tink's in heat, so she's just being a stinger. I thought maybe that was sweaty moaning. It, it was, but uh, good feelings, not negative ones. Bernie, how you doing? See, so I'm getting mounted by Tinkerbell. Not a fan. I think I'm probably gonna call the vet today. They checked in on her yesterday, but there was no like follow-up. So I think I'm gonna call this afternoon after I get everything that I need to done, see if maybe we can get another dose of antibiotic or a different antibiotic or something to see if we can speed this recovery process on. She did great this weekend. Like she was doing a lot better, but then the last couple of days with the temperature changes, I feel like she started to struggle again. Daisy did just knock her noggin. She's totally fine. Also want you guys to know that there's there are three bowls out here. There's plenty of room for Billy to get his own food, waffles, and, and Link for Link to have his own bowl. It's just kind of what goats do. And so, see here he is. He found his own bowl. I know you guys are worried about him being bullied. They will work it out. My hope is to get him sold here pretty quickly so he's not here very long but that's kind of what they do they have to work out the herd order just like Lincoln waffles do it's not a huge deal they'll they'll work it out it's just kind of part of it so I know it looks rough in the beginning but they'll work it out are you ready for dinner Probably need to start bringing the boys out a little bit of grain too, just to keep them out of pork chops food. It's just you never want to over overdo on your buck grain because it just causes them lots of issues. Okay, girlies, everybody has hay. It's gonna be a cold one. Everybody ready for bed? No, we need to go back out and eat some more. I'm gonna see you in the morning. thought we'd bring it and test it out. Let's see, I've got my wind muff on. It's not super windy today. Jeremy asked me, called me this morning, they put out hay for the cows and said there was a new calf. It was not acting like he liked, so he wanted me to come out. He actually watched it be born. And so he wasn't able to hang out. It was dark this morning and they're here. He just asked me to come and check on these guys. So I thought we would check out our new camera and I would just add it in to the video. Another one that he just didn't like the way it looked this morning. We've had that bouncing around temperature. 
I'm going to the vet this afternoon to get another round of antibiotics for Fern. That was what the vet recommended. The antibiotic that she gave her, she can give like a booster. Everybody's so much calmer. Are you guys so much calmer? So Elsie doesn't have a calf. This calf goes with this mama. That's a bull. Seven, eight, nine calf is who we're looking for. So I've got two here and I've got four here. That's six, seven, eight. So there are eight. So this one up against the fence was the other one that he didn't like the look of. So let's get, so five, five, eight. I'm not getting any closer, I know. And it does look like we're getting ready to have another out there. We'll see how close we can get her. That would literally put us down to two cows. This is like the fastest <laughs> calving season. This mama, we're waiting on. She's bagging up and getting close. There's cheapers. So I think this is the calf that he was concerned about. So we'll go, I'm gonna flip you guys out so I can kind of keep an eye on her and my back. She will charge. And that was Jeremy's problem this morning was the calf just seemed like it was having a hard time getting on its feet. Hello, can you get up? <coughs> yeah, just fine. Just fine. Yeah, I think you're okay. Yeah, that one definitely has a black spot on its face. Tongue's hanging out. That's the new one. That was born this morning. This is our one that was born Tuesday that we came to see. So this mama does look like she's getting in, either in labor or getting close to being in labor. I don't, but she does have a string of fluid. She doesn't look like she's in distress or anything. Not concerned. We'll probably come back out tomorrow and just make sure that she's had it. So what do you guys think of the new camera? The A calves on the ground. Everybody seems to be doing reasonably well.